Hi. Oh goodness. What's up, Baba? You good boy. So I am getting Botox and I <laughs> you're probably thinking, what is going on? Like, why is Jasmine getting Botox? Well, I haven't wanted to get Botox for a while and like film a video on it because when I worked in private healthcare, a lot of people would come in to get Botox for migraines. I'm actually going with someone I know who's getting Botox. Um, and yeah, so the, basically the Botox I'm getting this time is not medical. It's not for migraines, it is cosmetic. Um, and luckily where I work in a hospital, there's lots of trained professionals which I trust and which my person I'm going with trusts and obviously they're licensed clinicians and they do Botox on the side, just like their side job. Um, this lady also is going to learn like the migraine side because I asked her about that at my consultation. I love you. Basically it's you mainly do the three areas in your forehead so you do like the forehead here and your like crow's feet um she refused to do my crow's feet because i mean she was very hesitant to like book me in at all because i am young and she said i don't have any lines but the reason i want to get botox is <laughs> for preventative reasons um botox wears off within six months so if you want to keep up you get it done twice a year um and my kind of idea depending how this goes to get it done maybe once a year just as like a preventative measure so like there isn't much Creasing going on and causing wrinkles. So essentially Botox is a toxin that's injected into areas and it disrupts the communication between, I don't remember what it was and what she said. I'm guessing the muscle um, so that it can't move then, it's somewhat paralyzed. I'm interested to see how it will feel. Um, I'm not scared of the needle or anything like that. I'll try and get like as much which is there, I can probably only get photos if that. But yeah, I just wanted to vlog it and I'm gonna have this little like bucket list mini series um, to just do more things out of my comfort zone and do things I've always wanted to do and not be scared of just like being anxious or like the money. Cause I feel like whenever I get excited for something, I'm like, yeah, this is so worth it. I'm gonna put down the money for it. And when it comes down to it, I'm like, I don't want to spend money on it. And it's like, oh Jasmine, like live your life a little bit. So today's the day and in preparation I'm just going to wash my face like I don't really know what to do to prepare but I guess having clean skin might be more preferable. Alright so I've had it done. You can see like the bumps here um see so yeah, she only did like here um and i've got to keep frowning and raise my eyebrows for it to get deep into the muscle but oh my god you can literally see all of my lines because i've been raising my eyebrows so much that's so horrific um pain wise it really didn't hurt i, I did get slightly nervous so i was like i'm gonna go first um and she like drew up drew me up um and yeah and literally as she was about to like put it in i got like fear that like she was gonna take my blood and i was like jasmine she's not gonna take your blood she's just putting botox in you it's fine um and she's kind of close to the person that i'm a pa to so it was like oh my gosh you're that jasmine and i was like yeah i'm that jasmine <laughs> and i'm trying to speak before my mum's finished at pets at home and she's like why are you talking to yourself um but yeah it was a good experience so Price wise I paid eighty pounds. Oh, she 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 made it clear she was giving me baby Botox. Um, so she wasn't giving me obviously going that deep or going putting that much in. Um, and I'm also a baby. Um, she said the side effects. Um, she said if it's done wrongly, she gave a list of side effects there, which I won't go into because she isn't she ain't done it wrong. She's done it good. Um, but yeah, side effects could be like flu-like symptoms, get a headache, and I had a headache before I went in anyway, so that fine it didn't really hurt like she did this first because it's apparently the most painful bit of the bits i was having um and i literally couldn't feel it it literally didn't even feel stingy or anything 
and these bits here stung. Um, she did quite a few injections. Um, I, I don't really know if you can see. Look at those bloody TBI. That's awful. Um, but yeah, so I can't do any exercise tonight. I don't drink anyways, but I can't drink any alcohol. Um, there's someone parking next to me. They're going to be like, why am I talking to myself? She a YouTuber. She a YouTuber, you know. Yeah, I have to sit up. I can't lay down. Oh my God, they're literally going to be like, why is she doing her stuff? Oh, she's young as well, so it's not even like an adult who doesn't understand what I'm doing. Okay. Um, yeah, so I can't do any exercise, can't lay down, got to stay upright for four hours. I can't go to bed until 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock. Okay. Um, and then I go back in three weeks and see what happens. Oh, yes. Yeah, so by the way, if you're wondering, like, I can see her lines. It takes three days to kick in. Um, I like to start working. But yeah, I mean, like, there's a slight ache in my head now just because obviously I haven't had needles in my head. But yeah, the needles were tiny, the syringes were tiny. Um, overall, good, pleasant experience. But I'm gonna go because I'm getting social anxiety. <laughs> my mum's gonna be vaccinated anyways. Bye. Um, it's the next day. I have a head. I have a migraine. I have a migraine. There could be lots of other things at play. I mean, I'm doing a Moldavite experiment at the minute and I'm not emotionally in a good place. I have some bruising on here and here. They just kind of look like spots. This is where I like slept funny, but um, oh, I'm suffering a little bit. So, yeah, I don't know if I said yesterday, but like the Botox on your initial appointment can, give you like flu-like symptoms um, for the next couple of days, which I think is what's starting to happen. But normally like on your second round and like then on you don't get it. So it's like the first time only. Three days in. Um, so I guess like you said like you should start seeing results within three days and then the full results will be in two weeks when I have my next consultation. This was the photo I took literally when I was waiting to get my Botox done. And that was me lifting my eyebrows up fully, okay? Now I'm gonna do the same thing now. Like you, I, you can still see I've got some bruising like here, here, here. Three, two, one. Like all of this is frozen. <laughs> it's such a weird, <laughs> And then this is my frown the day of, and this is my frown now. So my frown, <laughs> so literally I've only really got this area of like my frown left and my eyebrow left. My eyebrow lift is literally flawless <laughs> and it feels so crazy because it literally feels like, you know when you've got like a face mask on and you can't move your face and like if you try and move it, it's really tight. That's what it feels like. It feels like my skin is literally just like someone's clamping it and I can't I go like that but nothing else moves and I was a bit worried that like because she was adamant on only giving me baby Botox that like it wouldn't have that frozen effect which I really wanted that frozen effect so like I couldn't have any premature aging through m movement and like frowning and screwing up my face literally get like a peel off face mask put loads on your forehead like above the arch of your eyebrow across there and try and that's what it feels like and yeah like although it is kind of li literally it's injecting a foreign body into you and i guess that's why you get oh, i didn't explain this very well because i was so unwell um i'm very susceptible to headaches I'm very susceptible to migraines if i have anything slightly wrong with me i get a migraine and it always ends in me vomiting or something like that um so i wasn't surprised that like that had that effect but also me and my mum have come down with a cold recently so that could be why like i was battling the, the worst of having a cold then as well yeah i mean people think it's very surprising for me to want to get botox because they're like oh you'll get botox but you won't drink alcohol oh you'll get botox but you won't go on a sunbed and i'm like yeah but botox is like it's been around for so long it's been studied for so long but yeah that's my little update and i probably won't check in again until the two weeks when i'm proper paralyzed because like it, it's crazy already you are a real one if you keep noticing trends on my recent videos <laughs> i'm filming a couple videos at a time right and like i'm filming like three vlog kind of things at a time <laughs> and i'm so emotionally drained right now i i'm filming them 
all of my weekly updates today in bed on my phone so yeah but I have noticed so I knew that I found a lot of work because I <laughs> whenever I pull into my road when I'm driving home I'm like Jasmine you've been frowning stop frowning but I went to work so I was working from home most of this week and then I went to work yesterday and I really I could feel tugging and pulling where I was obviously trying to frown but couldn't and I didn't realise how often I was frowning. Um, but it's actually really good that I do frown that much. Because now I've got Botox, the more I frown... I mean, it hasn't fully sunk in yet. Oh my god, my frown's getting better though. My uh, raising eyebrows is like insane. But yeah, my frown has still got a lot of going on. Um, but yeah, because that means whenever you like use the thing you're trying to prevent... <laughs> it feels so funny. Um, it makes the Botox last longer. So I don't know how, don't know how, but that is the word on the street. Uh, I'm so angry. I'm so surprised. Oh, I'm so surprised. Literally, I'm frozen. I actually really need a wee, which is why I came in here. Don't know why I bought the camera. Okay, so I am frozen and I love it. Um, I didn't actually realise how, let me show you how much I would love having Botox and the whole experience. Like I... I don't even know what it is, maybe it's just like I'm really really vain and now I'm like I'm not gonna get wrinkles or I don't even know, maybe it's just like the whole like I feel like our generation, like we grew up just watching like girls just get cosmetic surgery done and like we dream of it and maybe it's just that the fact that I've like fulfilled like that little dream I had when I was little and it's just like I just feel I don't know, maybe it's because I'm making a big decision for myself and I've like taken a leap and I've got weird things injected into my forehead maybe it's that and it's just but anyways I'm really really happy with the result I'm so happy so I've had my um follow-up day I should put a little more in here uh, because my frown was still quite prominent like raise my eyebrows and literally nothing I still got a bit of a frown but also like she didn't put anything here so like that's where you see my frown more so I had a migraine the other day and if you drop follow me on Instagram I said my migraine cap on which is like I put it in it's, it's just like a gel cap when I put it in the freezer and it's like ice all around your head, it's lovely for migraines um, and like I had to like keep moving it up so it was like on my hairline and I was like why is my hairline hurting so much, I never get to the migraine and obviously I realised because like this part of my face is frozen to the nurse today and she was like yes because your muscle is so relaxed like the whole The whole pain of a migraine is like the the. In, oh sorry, I'm sitting on the bath. You know that like bath noise. Basically, my muscles in my head are relaxed, and that's why I didn't get any pain. There, I'm very very excited for when she can learn the, the medical sides of Botox and can like inject all around my scalp. And I would definitely make a video about that. And that's something that I've been wanting to try for years, and like always had a plan to make a video about it. And that's really it. Like. She says that it can start wearing off from about three months to six months and it'll also be like a gradual, um, you'll be able to just notice the muscle more and more so I guess in like vlogs and things like that I can give updates on how it's going and like how quickly I get feeling back in my forehead basically. But yeah I'm going to stop jibber jabbering on because I just don't have a reason but I'm just so happy and I love it and yeah that's, that's my little Botox experience. Good, I have no movement in my forehead. <laughs> it's so funny, but I love you so much. Thank you for watching this video, like truly thank you. Um yeah. Um talk to you later, darling.